Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing once again. This video is going to be about the best way to clean your car wheel. I know I've already talked about this. I'm going to sit down and talk about my Meguiar's wheel brightener cleaner. I told you guys that I think this is the best wheel cleaner on the market. I'm still in love with it. But I want to talk about something I'm watching some of you guys do, some of you professionals or even your car enthusiasts and the question I'm going to ask you is how many gallons of water does it take to actually clean your car now there's professionals out there that use a two bucket method they'll fill up one bucket with five gallons worth of water that's their rinse bucket then they have a second bucket that they fill up with five gallons of water that's their soap bucket then what I'm noticing is that some professional detailers are taking a third bucket and filling that sucker up with five gallons of water and they make it their dedicated wheel bucket. Folks, in my opinion, 15 gallons of water plus most likely you're going to be using free-flowing water as well. A couple more gallons there, however, however much you use, you're talking 20, 30 gallons of water to maybe clean your car. This to me water has become a valuable resource on this planet unfortunately as human beings we seem to screw up everything water is coming is getting really really difficult to come around people in california they've got drought they can't use a ton, ton of water if they're allowed to use water at all so i'm going to talk about when we're cleaning wheels and what i'm noticing with a lot of professional detailers or even car enthusiasts you guys are filling up a five gallon bucket putting car soap inside of it and the reason for that is you want more lubrication. After you spray your favorite wheel cleaner on the wheel, you want to be able to take your brush and dunk it in a five gallon bucket of water and your favorite car soap in it to create more lubricity. So when you're poking it in or cleaning the face of the wheel, you want some more lubricity, a little bit more soap, because most wheel cleaners don't foam up. They don't they don't give us the lubricity we may be looking for, so that's a trick that some people have been doing, filling a five gallon bucket of water up with car soap, and now we're talking 15 gallons of water. You know, I got a hump all the way around this car. What's a gallon of water weigh? About seven pounds, somewhere around there. Holy crap. I'm walking around with three, with three buckets of water. Forget it, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of valuable resource. It's just, in my opinion, absolutely nuts. I already have some free-flowing water here. It's all I need, and I'm going to show you what I do. It's a very simple little trick. You might like it. You might want to start using it if you give a crap about the planet and you want to conserve water but still get amazing results. So first, again, I'm going to spray this wheel down as I hit my own wheel with the brush. Don't do that. I'm going to take... This wheel cleaner, my favorite wheel cl cleaner, Meguiar's Wheel Brightener, it's acid-based, completely safe on this chrome wheel. It happens to be clear-coated. I'm gonna spray the surface of the wheel. And I'm gonna take my wheel brush here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it a little bit wet, get a little moisture or wetness on that, that brush, and I'm gonna come in here and clean this wheel. Now what some of you are doing is you want to provide a little lubricity to be able to now poke your favorite wheel brush inside the spokes of this wheel or you want to put some soap on the outside of the wheel. What I've done is taken my favorite car soap and just diluted it in a 32 ounce bottle with a spray nozzle on it. This is all the water I'm going to need. In fact, this is more than enough water to be able to clean this wheel if I want some more lubricity I want to introduce some type of car soap I don't need to have a five gallon bucket of water that I'm just going to dump later because I'm not going to use all five gallons to clean all four wheels trust me it's going to get filthy it's going to get dirty and I'm going to be dumping that stuff on the lawn I'm going to take this 32 ounce spray bottle that's got diluted I got diluted in here a couple of ounces of my favorite car soap and I'm just going to spray the wheel now I've got all the lubricity I'm looking for. I've got a little extra kick or punch if you want to look at it that way. 
Maybe I can apply it to my brush, get a little bit of soapy stuff on there. Again, I'm not dipping into a five gallon bucket, having to hump this bucket all the way around the car. I want to make my life easier. This is the best way to do it. I can now come in here, agitate the wheel again. If I want some more lubricity on my brush and on the wheel, I already know that my Meguiar's Wheel Brightener acid-based wheel cleaner, which is absolutely safe for this wheel, has already cut down most of this brake dust, grease, and grime. But if I want a little bit more lubricity, I'm just gonna do that. I'm not gonna fill a five gallon bucket and waste a valuable resource. Then I'm simply going to take my hose and rinse this tire down. Now, what I can do is I can take a dedicated wash mitt if I want. This happens to be a microfiber wash mitt. I only use it on wheels. Again, I don't have to be dunking it into a five gallon bucket of water, soapy water. I've already got some water here. I can just simply get this wet. I can take my favorite car soap that's already in this bottle. I don't have the five gallon bucket. I've eliminated it. I don't have to make extra work for myself or waste water. I can just spray this down if I want. I can go in here and spray the wheel again. Whatever you want to do, whatever makes sense for you in your world. I'll put this thing in my hand. One of the reasons I like to use a wash mitt and put it inside my hand, because I'm not naive to the fact that some of these brushes, no matter how great they are, they may not get every little nook and cranny around this wheel. So I actually want to put my hand in there if I can and kind of work it in there if I want a little bit more soap, put more soap on there, get my hands in there, work it all the way around. So now I'm, ass I'm assured that every bit of that wheel all the way around the, <coughs> excuse me, the edges of the spokes, I've got it all, I'm touching it all. Because when it comes to wheel cleaning, you'll find, I do as a professional, if you just use your brushes alone, as great as these brushes are, you'll find that you might not get every little nook and cranny, and it's all about the details with me. I wanna make sure every part of this wheel is cleaned, because sometimes what will happen when you think you've gotten it all, by simply using your fancy brushes and you move the car forward, you might see a spot that you missed. Having a little wash mitt dedicated just for wheels, I do not use this wash mitt on the surface of the car. It's just dedicated for wheels. By getting my hand, in there, I know it's not fun, it's a little bit of elbow grease, but getting my hands in there, it assures me that every area of these spokes is being hit. Plus I've got the wheel brightener on there, I've got some extra soap from the little dispenser that I showed you. I don't have to dip it in a five gallon bucket and hump this thing around the car. Auto detailing's hard work, it's already hard as it is. Don't make it harder on yourself. Don't waste all that water, it's just not needed. And now I'm gonna simply rinse the tire off. Because what's happening is as you guys are filling this five gallon bucket up, wasting all that water, it already takes a considerable amount of water, unless you're doing a rinseless wash, and you're using a bucket with your rinseless solution in it. To me, that's fine, that's great. If you have a tire or a wheel that's not all that dirty, you can get away with it. But if you've got a tire that's hammered and all you're using is a rinseless wash and your little wheel woolly or wheel brush or something like that and cleaning out the wheels, I feel those rinseless washes just aren't aggressive enough to break down that brake dust. Again, it's fine if the wheel's relatively well maintained, you're just cleaning it it's not hammered, those rinseless washes will work just fine, but at some point in time, when it comes to the dirtiest part of the car, which is the wheel, we got brake dust, traffic film, grease and grime that splashes up on this thing. You're gonna have to break out the water hose at some point in time if you can, and really clean this up, because this is the dirtiest part of the car. Makes sense, it's the closest part of the car to the highway. But that's my little tip and secret to making my life easier, saving myself some water for the planet, being eco-friendly. I just fill up a 32 ounce bottle with my favorite car soap. I have plenty, plenty of lubricity available to me. I don't have to hump around a five gallon bucket, dip my brushes in it when I want more lubrication and 
wipe it all over the wheel, make my life easier. I'm just walking around with two spray bottles, my, my dedicated brushes, my little hand mitt, and I can get these wheels dialed in if I'm not talking in a video within minutes. And I've gotten every nook and cranny because I put my hand in here if I can and made sure that I've hit it all. Another point I want to bring out about Meguiar's Wheel Brightener acid-based wheel cleaner. Before I even begun to clean this wheel, there were some there were some water spots on this wheel. It rides down the highway, water splashes on it. Maybe the water sprinkler at my favorite mall or store turned on and hit this wheel. When I have water spots on this wheel, and if I'm using some dedicated wheel cleaner from over the counter at Walmart, the parts store, or even some of these wheel cleaners now like Iron X or these color changing wheel cleaners that break down brake dust, they don't have the ability to break down water spots. An acid-based wheel cleaner, because there were some water spots on this wheel already, this stuff, when I sprayed it on there originally, will break down a lot of water spots that may have developed on that wheel. Another reason why I'm absolutely in love, I said it again, I'm in love with Meguiar's Wheel Brightener. It breaks down water spots as I begin to clean this wheel. Water spots that developed from maybe a week or two ago from when I cleaned my car last. It's safe, effective, it's fine on chrome wheels, it's fine on a matte finish wheel, clear coated wheel, aluminum wheels, different story. A polished aluminum wheel, you have to decide whether or not you want to use it at that point because again, if you spray an acid-based cleaner on it, all it's doing, it's not damaging the tire, it's just bringing the tire, that aluminum tire or aluminum wheel, back to an unpolished state. But it's not ruining it, it's not damaging it, that's a key point to consider. But there you go, there's my little tip and secret of not having to waste another five gallons worth of water to clean my wheels, just spray it down with some soap, I get all the lubricity I want, get my hands in there. This is the best way within minutes I clean, the, I clean wheels for my customers. They'll walk outside and absolutely love the way this looks once it dries. Then, once it dries, I have one more secret. When it dries, I like to use, let me grab it, sorry, Sorry about that, I should have been ready. My mind is a little bit all over the place today. Sorry, folks. But once this tire is dry, I want to take my Meguiar's Synthetic Spray Wax. If my customer's not paying for some type of coating on this tire, I still want to put some level of protection on this, and this is where I love Meguiar's Synthetic Spray Wax. I can simply spray the microfiber with the spray wax, come in here, wipe the tire down, or the wheel, excuse me, This is a great way to give a little extra pop to that chrome wheel and lay some protection down awfully fast and quick. And I'm not naive to the fact that spray sealant's not gonna last all that long. But again, my customer's not paying for a coating, yet I still wanna put something on the wheel to kind of help the brake dust from having, or stopping the brake dust from having the ability to kind of bond to this wheel in the future. I want it to be able to make it easier to clean. So I just simply wipe that McGuire spray wax on there. I'll come in and buff it. Now some guys, when it comes to a, a chrome wheel like this and they really want to make it pop, they want to use some type of glass cleaner on it. That's fine, that's cool, I've done that before. I just find Meguiar's Synthetic Spray Wax over a glass cleaner, I'm doing two things. I'm getting rid of some of those smudges that might be on there from the cleaning process. I'm also laying a level, a level of protection down and it makes the wheel pop even more. It's another reason why, when it comes to detailing my customers' cars, and they've picked one of my entry-level packages that doesn't include a coating on the wheel, I'm still going to put some type of protection down, makes the tire pop, it will make it a little bit easier in the future to clean it. That to me, folks, is one of the best ways to dial in a wheel and do it quickly, do it effectively, and get amazing results without spending all that time humping around a five-gallon bucket of water. It just, it just isn't needed, it's not necessary. That's how I do it. I hope that helps. Sorry I rambled on a little bit, but there's a lot of information within this video. Hope that helps you guys out. Thank you so much. Appreciate your support. 
You guys take care. The weekend's coming up. Today's March 31st. It's Friday. The weekend's coming. Have a great weekend, but be safe. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.